Hello and welcome to the most hated show in the black corner of the internet. I'm your host, the whiteologist, Mr. Blows Your Minds, and this is Black Minds News. Black Minds News is to report, articulate, transmit, communicate, insinuate, develop, investigate, unveil, decode, spread the news, whether it's by news, video, websites, or quotes from publications. As I articulate this information, I accept the creator of the universe, be here, heart, soul, mind, and spirit. Because why? The truth don't need no partner. As a descendant of the greatest people who created this place that we call the United States, we, the foundational black Americans, the bloodline historical lineage, the historical people known as slaves, we who call ourselves black American descendant of slaves, B-A-D-O-S. Some say black African descendant of slaves. Others say ADOS, American descendant of slaves. We, the today children, offspring, and present generation, we give honor to our ancestors. And you know what my model of the show is? I'm never going to tell you what I heard. I'm only going to tell you what I know. Well, the saga continues. As with the Eric Gardner's chokehold death been five years the anniversary just passed not too long ago we covered that here on black minds news we see that the officer daniel pantaleo still fighting this case trying to hold on to him job that's what i said him job right so we see that the, through these proceedings something has come out that could be very detrimental that might be one of the bricks that's going to make this thing fall and maybe afterwards some other things might manifest itself. It just seems malfeasance no matter how you look at it. Well, let me go ahead and present this to you. Today's date is August 19, 2019. And this is Black Minds News and stay tuned for this broadcast. How's y'all doing again? This is your host, Mr. Blows Your Minds, and welcome to Black Minds News Report. Today's date again is August 19, 2019. And first and foremost, before we get into this, I want to say, what's good to my fam? What's good, fam? Subscribers, new and old, welcome. Always appreciative to have you clicking on, checking the video. We on the countdown, y'all. On the countdown to being back live, it's around the corner. Stay tuned for that, right? Pass by, if you should happen to pass by, seeing the thumbnail, seeing the title, welcome to the most hated show in the black corner of the internet. Well, Mr. Bloody Man, what do you mean you're the most hated show in the black corner of the internet? Well, we used to get 275,000 views. That's a quarter of a million. 50,000, 30,000, you name it, we was getting it. All of a sudden, in 2019, we can't get past 100 views. Been in the business for seven years. 2.9 thousand subscribers. Won't let me get past 2040, 2050, right? And I'm the most hidden, tucked away show. You tell me if I am. But anyway, welcome to Passing By. Go through the aisle. We always got a grand opening over here. Might see some things that you might like over there. So go down the aisle. And if you should happen to see something that make you feel some kind of way, remember that the motto of the show is the truth don't need no partner. Now let's go ahead and get into this story here, right? So let me go ahead and show you the image, right, that they had showed in front of today, right? You see that right there, right? So let me go ahead 
And now let me let me let me read this to you first. Right, let me go ahead and read this to you because again, uh, you know, we have to do what we got to do, right? So let me go ahead and read this and be right back. NYPD officer was untruthful when he denied putting Eric Gardner in Choco, says city judge who recommends his firing. You know I'm going to say that again. NYPD officer was untruthful when he denied putting Eric Gardner in Choco, says city judge who recommends his firing. This story is coming out of the Daily News. August the 18th, 2019, and this is how it reads. The police officer accused of placing Eric Garner in a deadly chokehold five years ago was untruthful and disingenuous. In his recounting of the incident, says the city judge who recommend he be fired. Officer Daniel Pantaleo didn't testify at his departmental trial this year in the death of Eric Garner, but... When interviewed by NYPD internal affairs cops, he claimed he did not use a prohibited chokehold on Garner as he tried to arrest him on Staten Island sidewalk in 2014. I found Pantaleo's uncorroborated hearsay statements explaining his actions to be untruthful, NYPD Department Commission of Trials Rosemary Monaldo said. Monaldo's ruling was published in the New York Times on Sunday night. First, I found Pantaleo to be disingenuous when he viewed the video and denied using a chokehold, even though his actions were completely consistent with his own erroneous and restrictive definition of the patrol guy prohibition, the judge wrote. She continued, Second, the preponderance of the credible evidence contradicted his rationalization that the position of his elbow protected Mr. Gardner's neck and that he exerted no pressure to the throat. The Reverend Al Sharpton and Ronaldo's ruling gives NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill no wiggle room. Her ruling to me clearly says that the commissioner has to terminate him. I do not see how he could give a logical, legal, or police policy reason to do anything less. Sharpton said it would make a mockery of having police trials if you have a decision that's not ambiguous at all to be ignored. There's no gray area here. Video Gardner's death, first published by the Daily News, showed Pantaleo wrapping one arm under Gardner's right armpit and around his shoulder, and his other arm over Gardner's left shoulder and upper chest. Ronaldo focused on the moment after Pantaleo pulled Gardner forward to prevent him from crashing through a store window. Pantaleo had the opportunity to readjust his grip for a prohibited chokehold to a less lethal alternative. He did not, the judge wrote. She said Pantaleo's behavior amounted to criminal recklessness. This tribunal finds that there is only one appropriate penalty for the grave misconduct that yielded an unequally grave result. Pantaleo can no longer remain a New York City police officer, Manaldo wrote. The decision to fire or retain Pantaleo, a 13-year NYPD veteran, sits with O'Neill. The judge report confirms that I have been saying for more than five years, Pantaleo used a banned chokehold. Murdered my son and should have been fired years ago, Garner's mother, Gwen Carr said in a statement Sunday night. Judge Minaldo also confirmed that other officers' testimonies were unreliable. Carr also pointed to a January 15, 2015 memo referencing Minaldo's ruling where a ranking internal affairs officer requested departmental use of force charge against Pantaleo based on the NYPD's patrol guide. The Civilian Complaint Review Board didn't bring charges against Pantaleo until 2018. The fact that the NYPD didn't bring discipline charges against Pantaleo then and there is a part of a disgraceful scandal and cover up this administration has allowed, Carr said. The NYPD Pantaleo Lord Stuart John London 
and a representative of the Police Benevolent Association did not immediately return messages seeking comment Sunday. All right, so that was the article that was written out of, again, uh, Daily News. And so what I'm going to give you now is I'm going to give you the actual um, news story. So hold back one second and let's get into this. Tonight, the judge in the departmental trial of the NYPD officer at the center of the chokehold death of Eric Garner says Officer Daniel Pantaleo was, quote, untruthful during questioning. In a 46-page opinion obtained by the New York Times, the NYPD's administrative judge said Officer Pantaleo's definition of a chokehold during questioning was, quote, implausible and self-serving. Pantaleo denied using the band maneuver during the 2014 arrest on Staten Island. He was suspended from the force earlier this month after that judge recommended he be fired. The Civilian Complaint Review Board also recommended termination. Police Commissioner James O'Neill is expected to make a final decision by the end of the month. All right, so there are the two pieces that are out there, right? And so... Again, the spirit of Eric Garner is still seeking for some justification. Uh, I think this might be the beginning step to try to get some kind of remedy. Um, because it looks like there was the malfeasance on the administration. Again, remember, again, we have done this story when, again, when he did the water buckets to the NYPD and how the commissioner came out. And, and felt like the department was being disrespected. And again, people who understand and know that there's times when you need the authorities to intervene in situations, you don't harbor bad feelings. But again, when people are not following rules and policies and breaking them, and again, if you're going to hold the people to a certain standard, then to say what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You can't say the law is only good for you, but when it comes to me, there's exceptions to the rule. And when you break them, you are held to the letter like everybody else is held to the letter. The problem here was that there were so many things in the situation that dealt with Eric Gardner that just didn't add up anyway, right, when you think about it. I didn't still hear nothing about no cigarettes being found on the body. Yet, this is what you was accosting him about, selling Lucy's. Now, again, when you did the background, he had been arrested prior to, right? He had been arrested prior about a situation that may have been about Lucy's. But what you didn't hear that a lot of people didn't talk about is Eric Gardner had filed a, a he filed a suit against the, the department because a police officer had went, was arresting him in public, went in his in his pants and cavity searched him in the front of everybody like that. And he had filed a suit. So my question became, what's the possibility of this individual being tied to something like that or affiliated with the officer or some, okay? And yet, when they're coasting him, they're talking about something prior, which means if he didn't have it that day, had they had coasted him before about it. And so, based on that, this would give you probable cause to pursue him on that based on prior encounters. And so, what we see is Daniel Pantaleo accosting him, grabs him from behind, and everybody knows how the outcome of that happened. And no resistance from Eric Garner whatsoever. I said the other day, knowing what he knows now, if he was to come back and get in that situation, it still probably been the same outcome because, again, they would have went from gun now. So, okay, the choke, you trying to resist the choke, now we're going to shoot you up. But because people like to say that we don't respect and honor the badge, that's the reason why Eric Garner did not do what he did, because he did respect that. But somebody else was abuse of their powers. And so after his death, 
came national attention. Try to go through the policing procedures to try to come with some remedy because again, when everybody seen it, they did not it did not sit well. It did not look like this was your typical arrest based on what you said and what had appeared. Now, the individual who did the videotaping actually ended up going to jail too. You something again, I had did that as those who seen the story where he you know been badgered and all this stuff and ended up using something these stuff he had did prior and that was the reason they sent him up. But they went through the proceeding because the family, again, when you're in that situation, your family had to pick up the baton and try to proceed justice for you because you're no longer here. So based on their persistence, then the daughter dies, right? She dies too, right? She was the real callous at, the, at that time. She dies. I guess nobody's never questioned about that. And so the mother has picked up the baton and she's been persistent about it. So now you finally get some judge through a tribunal hearing. And she says that he was untruthful, that disingenuous. So when you say disingenuous, you're talking about somebody who's insincere, untanded, unfrank, right? Deceitful, dishonest underhanded, crooked, tricky, double-tongued, false, false-hearted, double-dealing, two-faced, mendacious, lying, artful, insidious, guileful, scheming, plotting, calculating, contriving, cunning, crafty, sly, wily, foxy, shifty, slippery, smooth, slick, you get what I'm saying. So here's a judge assessing the situation. And based on the things, again, as it talked about the erroneous, right? His own erroneous testimony. Because see, that's the thing about the truth. Again, you know the model of the show here is the truth don't need no partner, right? Truth don't need no partner. Truth going to always be what it is. See, the truth is kind of like, you know, the truth is when they have you on the machine, you know, the EKG, and then it has the, you know, your heartbeat and, you know, the, it, it goes up and down. But it doesn't really, it's showing you alive, but it's not telling your health, right? But when that flat line come, that's the truth. You get what I'm saying? The heartbeat registering different, you know, measurements of, you know, strength and vitality. But when that flat line comes, ain't no truer than what that is, right? So the truth is like that straight line. It don't wiggle. It don't change. It don't dip. It don't curve. It's straight, smooth. And see, when people who lie don't really understand that, they think they can manipulate the truth. And make the truth fall into where they wanted to fit the square peg in the round hole. Now, that's been five years ago. You would think that you've done and over with that, right? Now, you believe that, again, the only person can only know where you were in your heart and mind is you. You know if, again, according to what you had done, was it justifiable or not? Was it a mistake or not? The truth will fall out if it is. Right? But people who have to manipulate know that there's something not right what they did. And so we see that this judge found the uncorroborated, uncorroborated hearsay statements explaining his actions to be untruthful. When they went back to have him to reiterate what he had done, based on what the video, he also denied the fact that he had used the chokehold. And yet the video clearly shows that. So they said, well, you was disingenuous as I gave you all the different ways of looking at that, right? Because he knew that the policy guidelines, the patrol policy guidelines stipulate that is prohibited. You can't do that. Now, the judge was like, well, maybe I would have found some leeway for him after 
He brought him down, and it, it seemed like you made sure he didn't fall through the, the, the glass, but you didn't you know, adjust your hold. You kept it where it was, firm, tighter, stronger, to the fact that basically you are you caused this man's death, even though they will say that contributing factors to his health. But his well, he was walking around with his health like that. But with can another motherfucker around your neck choking you is something entirely different. It ain't part of your natural health. That's something external causing some detriment to you. But we're gonna use well, his he had poor health too. That could have been a good wait, wait, wait a minute. He was walking around with his hat. If you find him dead, you can say, well, he died because of his fat, his health. But he had a motherfucker hanging on his neck, choking him. That caused his death. That's what really caused his death. And so they said that the preponderance of the credible evidence. Now, again, that's the truth. The preponderance of the credible evidence was the truth. And then it didn't court again, as it said, it contradicted his rationalization for the position that he held. See, you think you can manipulate. Now, again, think about it. Somebody whose job is all the time sitting around trying to discern whether somebody lying or telling the truth. Now, that's why sometimes when we see situations, we be like, wait a minute, man. How is it that we can discern that and understand that that? Ain't the truth, and the person who's sitting there presiding it seemed to not come in. Then we be understanding that we know there's some underhandedness there. But see, the cry has been so long and it's so ugly to the fact that, again, we talk about the buckets of water that is all continuous of all this that's been done. All these cases where people are being exonerated when everybody can see with their own eyes, mind, heart, and spirit that that ain't right. So it doesn't condone the fact that people out here, if you want to say that people just out here dousing water and throwing buckets, but see, you want to justify that. You want to lock people up and make laws to lock them up for that. But the same laws that you are right to have it a good against the citizenry, when it applies to you, it's exceptional. It's, no, it don't really apply to me. And so he was a man that lost his life over what? Because we never did, as I said, we didn't see no cigarettes. We didn't see no Lucy's. We heard the story, but nobody had ever said there was Lucy's to be found. So what was really the purpose of the whole encounter? So based on that, you end up doing what this is, and now you put yourself in this situation. And so the decision that they said, even there was no gray area, they saying that, wait a minute, based on this now that the judge has said this and rendered this, it's only thing left to do here is you have to be terminated. So they said, well, this is our recommendation. It falls on the commissioner now. So now it's up to the commissioner to do what he got to do. Otherwise, if he don't, you know, the disrespect level is going to be, I mean, it's even, it's already passed the time for the respect part because there's been too many. And so you, here's one you could clean up somewhat, but again, it ain't really going to be cleaned up. I think it's just going to be the beginning, right? And once you can take that protection off of him, then it's like, okay, now maybe they're going to do something later on just uh, again under the jurisdiction to try to find a way to get him back in that courtroom and hold him accountable. And so, you know, it's sad to the fact that that man lost his life that way. And people try to say all kind of things, but again, it was obvious. Everybody's seen it. We know what we've seen. And you can see, if you've seen in the picture, that it's wearing on him, right? You know in the heart of your own heart, man. Maybe you were trying to just take him down. The man didn't even resist the fight to have you, but you kept tightening. You was getting like a ball constricted. You was, huh? Every little, it could get a little bit to try to, you were trying to tighten that too, tighten that too. And that's what you do. You cut, you restricted the air. It was, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He, he ain't nobody talking about the fight. He was still putting his knee in his head. So, you know, I guess maybe this is a stepping stone again. This going to continue on because this ain't done yet. Right? 
So now they're going to put it back in the hands of the commission. It's tough for you to do what you got to do. Then there'll probably be process after that. So again, if a judge said you're untruthful, and they said the people who were writing to collaborate with you as testimony, all that, they said their testimony was no good either. See? Because they don't understand how the truth works. Some, some people think that if we sit down together and we quit our story all together, then it makes sense the way we say it is. That's how it's going to be. But see, the all seeing eye said, what we see compared to what you say don't match. And that's what they, a lot of them don't want to have them cameras because what you see is going to be different than the way they try to tell you. So the truth don't need no partner. Again, just wanted to bring you, let you know that it was an update. That the New York police officer was found to be untruthful about him putting Eric Gardner in a chokehold. And so, you know, that's how we got to take it. Take it for how you get it and take each step till you get what you're trying to get to. The mother's being persistent. He said, I've been saying this for five years. They knew it. You knew it. But they weren't going to give it. So, hopefully, this be the beginning of what she's been seeking. See, Sam Cook says, a long time coming, change going to come. I'm going to say that again. Sam Cook song, right? Long time coming, change going to come. Because why? You can't keep doing this, man. And think that there's no repercussions for your actions. We all are accountable to the same thing. What makes you any different from the rest of us? Because you wear the badge and the, you are holding even higher standard than those who break the law. But somehow, really, you can break the law and still be still on the same thing. No, don't work that way. You're how, see, that's what the, the gun got skewed. Held to a higher standard because you know all the ins and outs. You understand you're a professional in it. You done lost that. You done got skewed now. So people just doing the country what they want to do and then let it fall away and chips lay it. But the time has come when the truth is now coming across the land. Everything's being revealed. Everything's being disclosed. Won't be no more hiding, y'all. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for your participation. Remember, when you see one another, greet your brother. What's good, brother? What's good, sister? If you can't do that, at least give the universal nod. And take all that damn hate, jealousy, envy, and spite out of you. Your ass. Understand, we is all we got. Understand, with this, the uniform and the team that you on, and yes, allies are important. Are yours willing to be in the frying pan once this shit get hot? Ask them the question is, you ever heard of John Brown? Is that story real to you or is that just a book of some fictitious writing? Know that there's some people who are plotting and planning for the, the demise of some. Understand that we, as the people, must stay vigilant, mindful, cautious, and high spirit. This is Black Minds News for another report. And to the next show, y'all, peace, love, one another.